dear colleagues i am dr saronan working as an assistant professor in the department of microbiology in indira gandhi college of arts and sciences pondicherry i have a very rich experience in the modern pedagogy techniques such as e content development and development of open educational resource based pages you can look at the list of open educational resources i have developed actually i have started this thing in the year 2015 mainly to improve the teaching learning ability of the students say for example this is an open educational resource i have created in 2015 and i am using for the classes there so these are the other open educational resource what i have created orange color thing shows the recently created one that is on the new google sites whereas the what i have shown in the next one is a google sites that is created with the old or classical google sites now we will try to look into a recently created new google sites based open education resource pages so this is an example of a recently created open education resource web pages mainly to cater the needs of the student as well as improve the teaching learning abilities this systems can be better referred as an a complete learning system the reason is if you look at you can able to see four quadrants here quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 quadrant 4 the first one refers to the notes and the second one refers to video lecture based learning the third one refers to the web resources that is certain extra resources a student can able to obtain from the internet and the last quadrant is a question and answer related part that is a quiz related quadrant this kind of quadrants are all actually designed by ugc as well as the ministry of education in india so if you look at here in the right hand side i have given certain guidelines that are required to be developed for an e content it will be commonly having the four quadrants so the same quadrants have been represented here in my web page also say for example we go into the notes quadrant you can able to see the link for the notes if the students are clicking here they can able to reach into the notes page that is the notes will be completely downloading there so from this they can able to download the whole content or if they have some doubts or something a comments need to be marked also they can mark the comments that can be further answered by me or by other faculties so like that i have prepared for unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 and unit 5 before looking into this thing we just look at some point related to the syllabus as you all aware that syllabus prescribed by the indian universities will be having normally five units so these are the five units this five units are those that have been distributed under the quadrants that is under notes quadrants then under the video lecture quadrant then in the web resource quadrant and then in the question quadrant that is in the quizzes form of the quadrants so in the syllabus page also after the syllabus i have provided a lot of different textbooks and reference books that could be useful for the students my web page can be just reached by making a google search then i have provided a lot of additional contents there or additional learning resource that are all becoming a very important mandate now in india say mainly to read something from the swayam portals swayam portals offer a lot of different courses basic courses and even certain advanced courses most of the basic courses related to my subjects will be available there so i have provided that link also then i have provided the model question paper that is termed question paper model has been provided here at the end if you go you can able to find the syllabus as well as the model term and question paper related content has been available as a pdf file so this file the students can able to download by clicking here so this is the entire content what we have seen has been available or given as a pdf resource then i have also provided an opportunity for the students to download the previous year question papers concerned to my subject that is my subject has been taught in the especially in this uh, cbcs model that is choice based credit system 
So this choice based credit system has started for my course from the year 2017. From there up to 2019 I am having a set of question papers. Those informations have been available here. So students can download the previous year question papers and these question papers can be helpful for them to face the present semester examination. Now we will go into each quadrant. I think already we have seen the notes related quadrant that is it will having the all the five units and their notes are all have been provided there. They need to just download the things. The second quadrant is actually the video lectures which is referred as a quadrant two as per the principles of the UGC's e-content development or the Ministry of Education's e-content development. So if you look at that into the video lecture, so this is the various video lectures that have been prepared by me and that can be used for the students for their understanding. So this is completely a self-learning thing. If they come into this video lecture page, if they click the whole content will be opening there in a YouTube. That is these contents are have been housed there in the YouTube. They need to go there in the YouTube and learn the things related to that Hello. particular subject. Dear students, I welcome you for the cell biology course. So in this course, as per the syllabus, so this is an introduction is thing. Then finally we will go into the textual based explanation. There. Okay. Here a introduction for the cell biology has been prepared as a video lecture and students are learning. So with my lecture you can also be able to find some other lecture that is adjacent to my thing you can able to see something is given in Tamil. Click here. Say introduction for the same cell biology has been made by or prepared by some other persons and it has been uploaded there in the YouTube. Some Hello students everyone, who have a difficulty there in learning, learning can be able to understand this thing in their native language. The unit of life. In any way, what videos run about cell up at the detail of a couple room in the video cell at the full up on a path of the couple of pencil row. Uncle the Puri Ramari. So this thing has been explained there in a simple Tamil language so that though they can able to understand the cell biology in a simple way. So in this way, I try to give certain lectures that have been available there in the native language that is in the Tamil also combined with my lectures. Like that for every unit I have tried to provide certain lectures of Tamil language adjacent to that of my lectures. Say for example look at here. Introduction to cell wall is being prepared with my lecture video lecture whereas the same thing related explanation has been given there in the Tamil. So that is provided in the other link. So this kind of things will help the students to understand. At the same time wherever possible I am actually honoring the person who has made that particular video files also. You can able to look at the thing here. So like that this is a way in which the whole syllabus content has been prepared as a video lecture that helps in the easy self way of learning of the students. And the next one is related with the web resources. What are all the other extra resources that has been available there in the website in the internet that will help in the understanding for the student. Say for example you look at here the cell biology could be very easily learned by this particular game that is cell craft. So students can able to play this game by playing itself they can able to understand the concepts there in the cell biology. The next component as I already told is a quiz part. So this quiz part have been added there in which the students need to register themselves and they can go and attempt the quiz that has been provided in another web page. So by this they can able to understand what are the things they have learned in the subject or what is the level at which they have learned. This is the way in which the final quadrant have been kept there in the web page that helps the students to self evaluate themselves what they have learned in that particular subject. And the next one is a discussion forum here discussion forum is related with doubt clearance. If students are getting some doubts they can directly email me or they can send me in the whatsapp I can able to clear the things there. Then the next tab is related with the practical. What are the contents related to the practicals have been available here. 
and I have provided the list of experiments we are going to conduct also. Wherever possible, I have included certain video files there for their better understanding. Then this one is glossary related to the subject of their learning. That is cell biology related glossary have been provided here. And some common abbreviations used there in cell biology is also listed here. Then this semester exams related something to making the student to get prepared during the time of the semester examination. Then university calendar is available which says when the semester is going to start and when the semester is going to end and the students information here the list of students as it's a first semester course the students are just yet to come their names will be populated here then the books and book chapters that will help the students for understanding is being provided here that is books related to our subjects are all of a highly costly affair for the students from a poor background to buy the books on that motive, I have tried to give certain one or two books at least housed there in this web page. From this, the students can click and they can download the book. It is purely against the copyright, which is well aware for me, but still there is no other go. For that purpose, we are using a ebooks based learning there. Then the class photos and audio logs. This refers to how the classes are being conducted or what is happening there in the class. Say, for example, this is the first introductory class. I have conducted the beginning of this year for the previous batch of cell biology students and the final thing is related with the cell biology related news. Some contents, recent contents related to cell biologies have been provided there and, and a final part of this web page is the feedback. After completion of the course, it's necessary for the students to give a feedback about what they have learned in the course and how it is useful. And finally, a contact address that describes where I am or from which place I am coming here. That is given under the contact list. So this is a contact address showing my location. If you look at into this web page, in the very front page itself, at the end, if you look at, you can able to see the timetable, objectives, course topics, details of the course have been given here. Then some announcements related to the course have been given. And finally, chronological events of the semester, that is when the semester is starting, when the semester is ending, when a continuous internal assessment or midterm exam is conducted. And finally, if you look at, I have tried to provide the a standard protection license there in the form of Creative Commons license. You can read by yourself and understand about the points related to the license. So, whatever I have given in this web page cannot be taken by any other person without my knowledge. So, the whole content has been protected. And at the end, you can able to see a icon for WhatsApp. What is this icon? This kind of icon has been given in every page. Every page at the end, you can able to see a WhatsApp icon. If you go into any page of this website, you can able to see a WhatsApp icon. What is this WhatsApp icon? If you just click it over, it will open into a separate page through which the students can directly ask the doubt to you in your WhatsApp number. So there is a provision for a easy doubt clearance for the students. For this purpose, I have added a link for my WhatsApp number here in this web page. So through this link, the students will directly come to my WhatsApp number and they can able to message their doubts. As much as possible, I will try to clear the doubts there from the WhatsApp itself. So the WhatsApp will be just loading there. In that WhatsApp, the students can directly message me. So this is the, my number for which the students can able to message. They can ask any kind of a doubt. So that the doubt will be directly coming to me. And I will be answering. Okay. So this is a way in which we are interacting there with the student. The next interesting thing of this open educational resource based web pages is they are completely compatible with the Android version that has been commonly available in the smart mobiles. So these web pages can be effectively opened there in the smartphone and the students can able to understand and read the contents there. Finally, a few points related to the Creative Commons license what I am holding for this web page.
So this pages, as I already discussed, has been created in the year 2015 as a old Google Sites. Now it has been revamped into new sites and kept under the license that have been indicated there in the image, which says that a credit need to be given to the person who has created the skeleton for this web page. Then it can be used for any person on a non-commercial basis that refers to NC. SA refers to share alike. So whatever content or whatever thing I have prepared, it can be shared alike to the other person. At the same time, the license what I have initially taken cannot be changed into any other creative license form. That is also a meaning there refer to the share alike. So in this way, I can share to any persons from a school teacher to a university faculty, especially for improving the teaching learning of the subject what they are teaching.